It is so important to spot the early warning signs of skin cancer. It's much easier to treat if found early. We met up with dermatologist Dr. Leslie Story at the Valley Skin Institute in Fresno, and she tells us about Mohs surgery and how this effective procedure is used to treat certain skin cancers. Mohs surgery is named after a doctor named Frederick Mohs, and the technique is one that he refined over his career really and it's where we cut out a skin cancer and the skin cancers usually are basal cells and squamous cells sometimes you do other more rare skin cancers uh, we cut the cancer out while the patient is awake and lying down in the room and then we orient it so we know which way is up and down and to each side and then we make a microscopic slide of it and then I analyze that microscopic slide to see if there's any more skin cancer at any of the edges if there is more skin cancer present then then we go back to the patient, take a little bit more from the specific area that we need to. So it's a way of minimizing how much skin you need to take out yet to clear the tumor. Typically what would happen is, for example, for a basal cell skin cancer, we would take four millimeters all the way around what we think is the cancer. And in many areas, such as the eyelid or the nose or the lip, a four millimeter margin all the way around is quite significant. So it's a tissue sparing procedure, but at the same time, we're able to analyze the entire edge and underneath the area to make sure that we get it. So you're actually looking at more of the edge than you would if you sent it off for regular pathology. Unfortunately, they are all ages. They do tend to be probably post 60. I mean, or probably our average age might be 65 to 70. It's all sun exposed. So for the most part, patients that have lighter skin, lighter eyes, lighter hair, they're more at risk for developing skin cancers. And so that's probably the typical patient. With that being said, I operate on every walk of life. You name it, I have pretty much operated on them. Um, and the big factor is sun exposure before the age of 20 and burns in particular, and that puts you at much higher risk for getting these skin cancers. When you see something, I, I'd say the biggest thing I hear is, oh, I thought it was a scratch, I thought it was a pimple. Any of those things should be gone in two to three weeks. If it's not going away after two to three weeks, then come in and get checked. I'd prefer earlier the better because it's gonna be smaller and less of an issue and we're always looking at the long-term effects of is it you know the bigger the tumor gets the more long-term repercussions there are uh, and also the bigger the scar so we're really trying to keep cosmesis in mind and making the scar look as good as possible.